So when I was younger, I was always taught, do not burn your bridges. Uh, you will regret it if you do. And that's probably great advice to live by. But today I am gonna burn my bridge. Stick around and you'll find out why. As I mentioned in the intro, burning your bridges figuratively uh, is usually never a good idea, but today I'm going to be literally burning a bridge. Uh, some of the backstory on this, uh, this is another bridge that I built, and if you watch my channel, uh, you will see a lot of my trail camera highlights. I have another smaller bridge. Uh, the smaller bridge that the trail camera is hung over is actually the same brook, but it's maybe a quarter mile uh, upstream here. Uh, recently, I just built this 16 foot long bridge and this one, uh, not necessarily for the wildlife, and I honestly don't think the deer are going to cross it because it is so high. Uh, but this one is for me to get my four-wheeler, lawnmower, golf cart, everything like that on the other side. I have a little micro food plot on the other side of this bridge. Uh, and that's why the purpose of this bridge and why I put it here. Well, you might wonder, that's all fine and dandy, but why burning the bridge? Why a flamethrower? Uh, well, I want to put some type of finish on this bridge. And actually, since I've put this bridge here, I've had a lot of groundhogs actually chewing on the decking of the bridge. So this entire bridge was actually made out of scrap wood that I've had laying around the farm. And actually, the frame for this entire bridge is galvanized, and it's made out of steel that I salvaged uh, from tearing a silo down on the farm here. Uh, I have an old video of that. If you want to see a demolition of a silo, uh, check out that video there. Uh, but that's where the frame came from, and I built this thing totally from scratch. But I want to put some type of finish to preserve this, and rather than going with some type of paint or a stain, uh, I'm opting to use fire. So I'm going to go through and actually scorch the wood uh, with fire, and hopefully that's going to give some type of protection against the elements and the weather. It's actually raining here today, which I thought would be a good day uh, to put the flame to this so that things don't go horribly wrong. I do have a five gallon bucket of water standing by here, and of course the stream that the bridge is going over that I can quickly dip out of if I get too much heat. Uh, I haven't ever done this before, so wish me luck. Uh, hopefully this turns out well. So as I mentioned, I kind of built this out of uh, just all scrap wood and it's kind of a hodgepodge of different woods and there's actually some treated wood. Uh, you can see that doesn't necessarily color quite as nice. The regular old two by fours, which I was most worried about protecting, uh, they seem to brown up pretty good. You can actually see where the groundhogs have literally been chewing some of these wood uh, just to pieces already and it's only been here about a week, week and a half. Uh, I'm not sure if this burning process is gonna stop that. Uh, but it can't hurt. So we'll find out. I'm going to keep covering the rest of this bridge. It's kind of a two-step process here with it being as wet as it is and raining. Uh, go through and actually uh, dry off the wood and you can see it changing color as it dries. And I just keep applying some flame to it and give a quick burn uh, just to kind of give a protective coating on that. So let's keep going with some more of the bridge here. Well, there you go, that's why I burnt my bridge. I think it turned out pretty good. It actually it really brings out the grain in the wood. It looks pretty nice and maybe a little bit rustic. I'm curious how long it's gonna last and how effective it's gonna be. 
If you have any experience on doing this or how long you think it'll last, please leave them down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you decide to try and do this, please exercise uh, an abundance of caution. It took me quite a while here uh, tonight just because of the rain and I had to dry off all the wood with the flame before I could actually burn it or uh, heat treat it, so to speak. But I did that just because I wanted the area surrounding it to be wet. Uh, and I do have a creek with water access right here in case of an emergency. So, so if you do try this, uh, please use an abundance of caution. Do not do it on a dry, windy day where there's a lot of weeds or boards that might be attached to your house or something like that. So please use common sense. But that's it. I burnt my bridge. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to last and maybe it'll keep the critters from chewing on it. I have no idea, but I am after the ground hogs so i appreciate you following along uh watching me go through this process hopefully it wasn't all in vain and it'll give some sort of protection against the weather thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video